Okay, so what we're talking about today is flash sync and how to freeze it. Um, there's two ways of doing it. This is the Hasselblad H1, and it syncs at 800th of a second, 1 800th of a second. This is a D3 that will sync at 1 250th of a second. Both work during bright sunlight capture. Um, this camera, however, freezes it a lot better because it has a leaf shutter. Uh, this camera here isn't the best because 250 is kind of the minimum shutter you could sync at. Um, anything less than that usually causes blur because the action goes by so fastly. Uh, whereas this camera will freeze it. On a day like today with lots of sun, it's hard to overpower the sun and not have motion blur due to shooting at 250 with the DSLR versus a medium format. So what I'm doing here is shooting a photo 800th of a second at F9. This camera has the fastest flash sync for a medium format camera. And you'll see different shutters syncing does different things. So when this is an 800th of a second with a lot of flash, it darkens your background. It becomes really crispy. Um, where it's 250, it's a little bit harder to do that. You'll see little things out of blur that are shot with the DSLR because they cannot freeze the action. And that's a lot of why I started shooting with the house a lot in the first place is because it sinks at such a high shutter. But also at the same time, it's a different type of shutter, a leaf shutter, which doesn't freeze action without a flash very well. So it's kind of you give and take one for the other. So the DSLR is a great camera for capturing available light photos compared to the Hasselblad. This camera syncs super fast compared to that, yeah. but I want to be let it known that that one suffices, you know? The price difference of the Hasselblad H1 is worlds of difference from a Nikon D3 or, you know, any of the other Canon cameras. But I don't want it to be like, oh, you have to have a $30,000 Hasselblad. So it's not mandatory that you're syncing at 800 versus 250. Yeah, if you want to take it to a professional level, you know, the top of the line professional level is the Hasselblad. You know, it's splitting hairs, but for me, that's what I do to try and achieve the sharpest Christmas photo. Um, Lumidine flashes are great. They freeze action like no other. And even at 250, they do a great job compared to other flashes. They're called action packs, which is a big essential key in freezing action is your light source. Let alone your camera, what shutter speed it can sync at. When the light gets lower, it's sometimes better to slow down your shutter because then you'll get more of the ambient. And you'll find in experimenting with slowing your shutter down and letting more ambient in with the flash will give you a different look. I think it's always best to stay at the fastest shutter because then you will freeze the action. Once you start slowing that down, some cameras only sync at 125, you'll see like a hand out of focus just due to motion, not because of your actual focus of the lens. The thing that I find is faster shutter freezes faster things. Especially with the Lumidine action packs, you're gonna get very, very crisp photos. Um, we're talking top of the line professional equipment, so none of this stuff is cheap, but it is the best way to freeze action with flash photography. There gets a point where it's kind of hard to justify Having two cameras, because the DSR kind of gets away with doing both. But if you have it, you might as well use it.